Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show where I offer misguided advice about video games. Game of choice, Hearthstone. My name is Meerkat, welcome to my show. Today I'm going to be showing you the one turn kill mage deck. Uh, this is this is a, uh, a deck that I've copied online from a website that I can't remember by a player who goes by the name of... I don't remember that either. <laughs> um... Not to take credit away from anybody who makes a deck, I try to give credit where credit is due, when it's due, at the time that I'm trying to display off their work. Jane the problem is, anybody Julian. can have any sort of combination of cards, so if somebody cards. said, I made this you deck, it's my it. idea, and this is all, you know, my own credit, yada yada yada, the point is, um, most likely somebody else has made a deck very similar, if not already the same exact uh, set of cards as you, probably just slightly different. So don't get too hung up on the idea of proprietary, this is my deck idea, because in the end, this is not your video game. This is Blizzard's video game for you to enjoy and not be a douchebag. Okay, that being said, um, one turn kill, let's see here. Combo card keep, controlling card keep, combo card, combo card, keep, keep. Alright, playing against the druid. This will be fun. This will be exciting. To dream the impossible dream. Ice barrier right off the bat. I'm gonna go ahead, wait till turn two, drop the coin, then drop the ice barrier just to kind of keep myself out of harm's way for another eight points of damage. Doing a point of damage to me, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and drop the Ice Barrier now, and the turn. Now, the reason why I wasted the coin like that is because 9 times out of 10, when you're playing the one turn kill mage deck, you want to get rid of the coin relatively quickly, within the first first few turns. You have so many card draw, or you have a lot of card draw in this deck, that uh, if you decide to hold on to the coin, it's just going to be in your way, and later on, you're, just, you're not going to find a use for it, it'll kind of go... I've, I've had to waste it a couple of times exactly for that reason. Okay, drop down the loot hoarder. Let's see what he's got. He's got to do an innervate, innervate, drop down an 8 8 taunt or something stupid. <laughs> I must safeguard the land. I must safeguard the land. Interesting. Okay, so he really did not want me to get the card draw. If I were him, I would have just killed the loot order, hey, but uh, I'm not him. He's him, and he made a bad decision, in my opinion. Um, so the combo requires you to have nine cards in your hand to pull the combo off. Two Sorcerer Apprentice cards, which are these, two Frostbolts, which are those, two Ice Lance, which are those, and two Fireballs, which are these. Um, cost you 10 mana crystals, so you can't pull it off until turn 10. Unless you have the coin, you can pull it off turn 9, but even then, uh, you most likely will not be able to pull that off. So, that being said, let's go ahead and drop down another draw card, Arcane Intellect. Very good, very good. Let's attack into him. Let's attack into him. And end the turn. Cool. So we are well on our way to getting the combo. Uh, we need a total of 9. And so far we have 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, five cards plus a Cobalt Geomancer, which is six. Sorry, I might not have mentioned that. You need two Sorcerer Apprentices, you need one Cobalt Geomancer, and then you need two of the Frost Bolts, two of the Ice Lions, two of the Fireballs, etc., etc., etc. Okay. So, the reason why I've been so focused on attacking him is because the combo does 32 points of damage. I would like to keep him under 32 hit points with health and armor combined in order to pull this bad boy off. I hope you like my invention. Now, I do have some ice blocks, which will help, hopefully help me, uh, uh, from, hope, hopefully help me get to the point where I can pull the combo off, um, because by the time you end up, uh, getting close to dying. Hopefully it's almost the time that you're ready for the combo, but just not quite enough. So you pull out a nice block or two, save you a couple of turns, and then what you just do. get that little bit of an edge what that you needed, do. and bam, kill him. Do 30 po 32 points of damage. It's quite hilarious. Okay. Um, I'm yapping away here. Yapping, yapping, yapping. Um, let's go ahead and do... I don't know. I guess let's go ahead and do an Acolyte of Pain. 
And then next turn, I'll go ahead and do a blizzard. I guess I should have done a blizzard this turn. Wasn't paying attention. Although I'd rather do a blizzard across more minions than a few minions. Oh, excuse me. So he's just ignoring my minions. Oh, I lied. No, he's not. That's right. He's really anti me getting card draws. Okay, cool. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and drop down a blizzard. And I guess we'll just hold on to the novice engineer for now. Yeah, why not? No sense in having the novice engineer mindlessly kill itself into an Azure Drake that's buffed up to a 6-4. If it means that he has something to focus on to direct the damage away from my hero, the less damage I take to the face, the better. Because, I mean, come on, look at this. jaina has got a beautiful face. Tell me that face does not belong on a Neutrogena. Neutrogena? Is that how you pronounce it? Neutrogena? Whatever. The face wash commercial. Tell me that face doesn't belong on a face wash commercial. Okay, cool. Not a big deal. I've got a Frost Nova if I need it. Got another combo car. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Getting close to the combo. I need another Frost Bolt and another Ice Lant, and I will be ready. Ready, ready, ready. Okay, so how much damage can he do right now? Uh, 12, 17, 21. Mm. That's fatal right there. So let's go ahead and drop down Frost Nova, an Ice Block, and a Draw Card. You like my invention? Not quite what I wanted. Ain't no thing, chicken wang. I have no, I have no flame strike. No flame strike. I forgot about that. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Well, here we go. I need two more cards to pull this combo off. Just two more. Those spots. Look at this guy. He's just got all kinds of craziness going on here. Got a 5-5, five, 5-10, five, five, 6-4, 6-4, 2, 3, 4, 3, whatever. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. One more card. I need one more card. <laughs> Come on, Hearthstone gods. May the odds be forever in my favor. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful. Is that the combo? Is that the combo? Let's see. Two Sorcerer Apprentices, two Frost Bolts, two Ice Lands, and two Fireballs, and a Cabal Geomancer! <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm getting excited like a giddy little schoolgirl. Alrighty. We've got, we've got Fatal. Next turn, he's not able to kill me off. He thinks he's got Fatal. He thinks he's in the good position. He thinks he's got this game. He's at 25 hit points and I'm down to 10. Oh, I'm down to four. Oh my God. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna try to bring me closer to one. He knows. Nope, nope. Oh, he's gonna heal himself up. He's scared. Oh. No, he's not scared. He's more than confident he has this game. He's gonna do one armor point, get him up to 26, maybe heal himself or set himself up with another card on the I board. Dream. Doesn't matter, you sure it? No big deal! No big deal. Check this out. Check this out. The purpose of this deck, behold the one turn kill like mage you. deck. Dun da 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 Click, don't fail me now! Don't fail me now! Ba-ba-ba! ba ba 32 points of damage. Actually, that wasn't 32 points. I've missed the other ice lamp. Look at that! Tell me that was not a beautiful combo. Tell me that did not give you the chills. It probably didn't give you the chills. It didn't give me the chills either, but it felt really, really, really good pulling that off. <laughs> okay, let's hop into one more match, see if I can win another game, get another combo. So there you go. That was a beautiful example of how the one turn kill deck works.
Now, um, this deck is pretty much derived around that one single combo. You could, if you wanted to, substitute some card draw uh, out for some other backup cards, like uh, Pyroblast or an Alexstrasza, something like that. On average, though, if you keep this style deck with all these cards in it, with all the card draw that you're going to get, you have a better chance of winning overall than you do if you try to play with a deck that has more backup sort of plans. Um, the reason why I say that is because if you do the backup sort of plans, a lot of times you end up having to use your combo cards, which then you, it just ends up being a regular deck. And what's the point? There's no point in making a one-turn kill deck if you're not going to kill them in one turn. There's no fun. You might as well just play some other standard deck. Okay, what have we got? Card draw, card draw, removal, and combo. Let's keep it. Oof, that felt good. <laughs> that felt really good. Really, really, really good. Okay, so uh, this turn, I got nothing I can pull off. I could do the coin. Hmm, what to do, what to do. So we're playing against the rogue. I'm more than positive that he's got a Leroy Jenkins in his deck. The light protects me. A lot of a lot of rogues have Leroy Jenkins these days. They think they're so crava. You think you're so crava. Ha ha ha. Okay, so um, we could drop down. Well, no, because then well, what do I do? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I could end the turn. Whatever, not a big deal. I could coin into the Novice Engineer. He could attack into my Novice Engineer with his Argent Squire, removing the Divine Shield, and then I could pick it off the following turn with a Fire Blast. Or I drop the Novice Engineer. He he does his uh, weapon, attacks into the Novice Engineer, leaves us completely unharmed. You know what? I'm overthinking it. Just end the turn. End the turn. I'll hold on to that coin for now, for another turn or two. See, there he goes. He would have just attacked into the novice engineer anyways. But instead, he has nothing to attack into except for Jaina's beautiful, beautiful face. Why you no love Jaina? Why you no love Jaina, Valera? Okay, beautiful. Coin into an Acolyte of Pain. Let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Currently at one of the nine combo cards that I need to win the game. So, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of cards to go. Got two Arcane Intellects. Most likely I'll be doing an Arcane Intellect next turn, or I'm going to do a Fire Blast into the Arcane, or Argent Squire and attack into it with my Acolyte of Pain, doing some card draw that way. Now he's thinking to himself, he doesn't want me to get more than one card draw out of my Accolade of Pain. If he had a backstab, it only does two points of damage. He's not going to waste an Eviscerate on it. At least I can't imagine he would. So he just decides to ignore it entirely and attack Jaina's beautiful, beautiful face once again. Alright, there's another card for my combo. Get rid of the Argent Squire. Do some card draw. Be a beauty. Backstab is out of the question now for this fine, fine rogue that is our opponent. Backstab only works against uh, minions that don't have damage already. Okay, cool. So now I'm just going to maximize. I'm going to maximize on my uh, Acolyte of Pain here. So how many cards am I up to now? Three, six, nine cards. Let's attack into. Let's attack into him. Puts me up to ten. Okay, cool. Mm. Guess that's the only option I have right now, considering I don't want to burn a card. Three, six, nine. End the turn. Next turn, I'll get my tenth card. Probably drop down. Uh, Maybe a Doomsayer, depending on what he plays this turn. 
definitely probably drop down the novice engineer. Okay, so how many combo cards am I up to now? I've got one, mm. I've got two, I've got three. Three out of nine combo cards. All right, Valera, any day now. Trag no rack. That sounds like an orc name. What is your name? Rock. All right then. He's gonna backstab it. Nope. He's gonna shadow step. That's a really weird move to do. He's putting a shadow step on his harvest golem. I do not understand that. The Brotherhood shall come. Ah, oh, he's trying to Edwin Van Cleef. Oh, six six. That's so weak. Come on, buddy. You could do better than that. All right. Well, let's drop down the doomsayer. No big deal. And should I drop something else down? I don't know. Let's see, I got nine cards in my hand right now. Um. <clears throat> well, I guess yeah. Why not? I hope you like my drop down the novice engineer. Job done. I got a lot of card draw right now. I've got one, two, three four or five cards that do a lot of card draw. It's not the best position to be in with this kind of deck. You really want to trade them out. So I think next turn I'm going to maybe drop down... Well, I can't. I'm already at 10. See, this is, this is what's tough, is when you have a lot of card draw to begin with, you really need to start emptying those down, emptying them out. That's unfortunate. Okay, um... So, ooh, this is not a good position to be in. I'm basically maxed out in my hand at 10 cards. So if I drop anything that does two card draw, which I have two arcane intellects and two coldite oracles. So I've got four cards that I can't use right away. I've got this blizzard, to just gonna stall me out for a turn, but I really do. need to dump another card. Um, well, let's go ahead and just drop my blizzard. That's all I really can do for now. Hmm. So maybe next turn, drop down an Office Engineer. Maybe a Nat Paggle and a Cold Light Oracle, maybe? I don't know. That would be seven. But then that, uh... No. No, no, no. That ain't gonna work. Okay, well, there's another combo card. This is scary. This is very scary. Drop down the Novice Engineer. Okay, there's another combo card. Well, that's good. Not as good as it could be. I could drop down a Nat Paggle with the hopes that he will kill it. <laughs> I mean, essentially, it's kind of a waste, but at least it directs damage away from me. And I won't have to worry about the card draw, I guess. Let's see, what I'm at three, do? six, nine, ten. What to do? Ugh, this is bad. This is bad. I can wait and fish all day. Three, six, nine. I can't drop. I still can't drop one of these yet. This sucks. Well, I'm hoping he attacks into the Nat Paggle with the Dark Iron Dwarf. Maybe direct a little bit of damage away from me. Yep, there he goes. Okay, cool. So now I don't have to worry about a potential card being burned. He's gonna do eight points of damage plus whatever he's got up his sleeve. He's gonna drop me down to at least... Oh, doing okay. Ten points of damage to me. Very scary. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. It hurt. <laughs> this is a bad position to be in. I've got too much card draw in my hand. Ugh, this is not good. This is no good. I've, I've, there's nothing I can do without burning cards now. See, uh, I should have dropped an arcane intellect to begin with earlier. Three, six, nine, ten cards. All right. Well, um. This is the only way I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to have to drop a Cabal Geomancer and hopefully pull into something else. Okay, so that puts me down to 9. Let's drop this down. 
Brings me down to, uh, that brings me back to 10. Okay, cool. I'll drop that down. Let's see, uh, three, six, nine, ten. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I think he's got the game. Four, ten, twelve, sixteen. Yep. The only way I can avoid do. being killed right now do. is I'm gonna have to burn a card. Gonna have to burn an Ice Lance card. Okay. So maybe hold out for another turn. I had to burn a combo card in order to hopefully survive another turn. It's, it's possible he could kill me though. I mean, he only needs to do another six points of damage on top of the, uh, or five points of damage on top of what he could do right now. You know, and it's looking like he might have Fatal. He might have fatal here. Oh, this isn't good. This is no good. Oh, there's the fatal. And what did I tell you? He had a Leroy Jenkins. Of course he does. Every rogue in the has a Leroy Jenkins. Well, that's too bad. All right, folks. Hope you had fun watching. Um, the moral of the story with the second match, don't hold on to your card draws for the later stages of the game. <laughs> Get rid of them. Shuffle them out. Shuffle them out. That's what... That's what I did wrong that match. But the first match was a lot of fun. Let me back out here, show you the actual collection of cards. The one turn kill mage deck. There they are. Pause the video if you are interested in uh, copying the deck down for yourself. Uh, had a lot of fun. You really want to try to hold all the combo cards you get at the beginning of the game and maybe hold on to some card draw. And, uh, yeah, make sure you get rid of the card draw. Like, hold on to the card draw, you know, when you first get it in the opening hand, but try to get rid of them as fast as you can. My problem with the second match there was I was too too focused on that Acolyte of Pain. I should have been dropping down the Arcane Intellects, should have been dropping down the Cold Light Oracles, but the problem was, if I would have done that, I was worried about burning a combo card, at which point it didn't matter because I had two of those, I had two Arcane Intellects, four out of... Four out of ten cards. Eh, hopefully you learned something. <laughs> so, folks, I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, next video, I'll probably uh, be playing the one-turn kill mage deck for a little while, see if I can increase in rank. The next uh, video I might uh, be submitting is uh, an Archmage Antonidas deck. Again, I've submitted one before called Great Balls of Fire. I've got a couple of different ideas for a better uh, matchup or a better deck idea for Archmage Antonidas. So I'll go ahead and create that deck and make another video and hopefully show you guys how much fun you can have with an Archmage Antonidas because it can be a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, folks, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time.